Hey everyone, my name is Perry. I'm an electrical engineer and today we're going to watch Dr. Stone episode 11 to see how accurate all the science and technology in this TV show really are. I won't be doing a reaction for episode 10 just because there really wasn't much for me to talk about like science wise or anything and just to keep the YouTube video titles consistent with the episode number that we're on for the anime, I'm just going to call this video like 10 slash 11. I've always wondered that for the longest time. Like how how was glass like I guess not discovered, how was glass invented? I mean, is because like the, the way that you get glass it's not by accident, you know, like you have to really superheat sand and that's how you can actually like get this like liquid form where you can mold it and shape it to whatever you want it to look like. But creating glass doesn't solve a problem for like, you know, primitive human civilization. Like it, it doesn't actually like fill a need. So I, I'm not sure how it was ever invented. Like, I mean, I can't think of a scenario where like just sand from the beach was would ever be in contact with such intense heat to the point where like glass just appears on a beach. I mean like I don't know, does lightning strike beaches? I, I really don't know that. I I never thought about it like that, but I mean, yeah, now that he says like that, Senku is absolutely correct. I mean, glass has become pretty synonymous with just science as a whole field. If you were to ask somebody to visually draw a representation of science, they will for sure have a picture of like a beaker, a test tube, or an Erlenmeyer flask, or probably all three. The reason that glass is so popular is for all the reasons Senku just outlined. Like, he's absolutely correct on all of them. Like, you can see through it. It's very durable. You can measure very accurately because you can like just leave tick marks as they have on like beakers of like milliliters or whatever units you want to work with. But I think the most important reason that you can't use clay is because you don't want the walls of the clay to actually like disrupt the chemical mixture of what you have. Because like, for example with glass, it's durable enough to the point where you can mix in like really intense acids and bases and the glass itself won't corrode or get damaged. Whereas if you put it in a clay pot, there's a very real, in fact, probably 100% chance that the, if you put an acid in there, the walls of the clay pot will actually like start to break down and it'll mix in with your acid. It'll lower its purity and you won't be able to use it for whatever purpose you actually had it for. We have really perfected glass making to an intense degree. I mean, I say we as if I was involved somehow with it. The process shown here is absolutely correct. You get glass by heating up sand to very, very high temperatures and it looks just like that. I mean, it's done the exact same way today. And then when you mix different chemicals inside of it, you can make different durabilities of glass, different sizes, different shapes. You can add color to it. Because like not all glass is the same, like you can actually make it more durable or like more flimsy depending on what you want to do with it. Like the same glass that's actually in like your like prescription lenses to help you see is not the same glass that's in like a windshield of a car. And the reason they don't just make like extremely durable glass for like everybody is because the cost of that is much higher. So when I said like they make flimsy glass, I don't mean like it's extremely weak. I just mean like you don't need to have like super durable like windshield level glass like for regular like glasses you wear on your face because you're not going to get into the same impact with a, another car so like you don't have to use like as strong of a glass in those situations one thing that the show gets incorrectly here which is kind of unfortunate because normally they're perfect about all their science but this is something that they did get wrong is the temperature required to actually make the glass we know from previous episodes that Senku, like, in order to, like, melt the iron, he had to get temperatures of 1500 degrees, and that required, like, the whole village working, like, triple overtime, and I don't even think he would be able to achieve those temperatures. With glass, you need double that. Like, it doesn't need 1500, you need 3000 degrees Fahrenheit to actually melt the sand to get that glass. And given the materials that Senku has access to, I don't think he would be able to actually reach temperatures that high. Uh, 
This guy is legit. <laughs> I mean, he reminds me of Master Roshi. People will dedicate years to perfecting their craft to get really, really good at pretty much anything. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're like a glass maker or a blacksmith or an engineer. It seriously takes a long list of years to really get good at something. When glass does actually get to those high 3000 degrees temperatures, you can, you can literally just blow on it through a straw and you can actually bend the shape of it. It really is that fragile. Now, even though the method for creating glass and shaping it hasn't changed, our tools certainly have. So you're not going to have like, like this basic of a setup. You're going to be in a much more controlled environment. But the fact that this man has like, what, 50 years of experience? Like, if you have 50 years of experience at a trade craft, you don't even need the best tools in the game. You can just use all your knowledge acquired from all these previous years and you'll make something really incredible just as this guy has done. We're really getting into some like serious like engineering stuff now like they're really starting to like ramp up the show and I'm excited to see what they have in future episodes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and found some value in it. If you want to see more Dr. Stone go ahead and comment it down below. If you want to see any other movie or TV show put that in the comments as well and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Thank you guys for watching. Stay fresh and stay golden.